Good evening, everybody. Would you please remain standing and join in singing the national anthem? I would like to thank and recognize a recently retired staff member who is guiding us as a marshal this evening, the Associated Students of Foothill College Student Activities Secretary, Tricia Daverin. Thank you, Tricia, for all your years of service. Good evening, everyone. As president of Foothill College, it is my honor to welcome you to the 55th annual Foothill College Commencement Ceremony. I would now like to introduce our platform guests. Please welcome the Foothill De Anza District Community College Board of Trustees, Board President Pearl Chang, <laughs> Vice President Joan Barham, <laughs> Trustee Betsy Bechtel, Trustee Laura Casas, <laughs> Trustee Bruce Swenson, <laughs> Foothill Student Trustee Alexander Park, <laughs> and Foothill De Anza Community College District Chancellor Linda M. Thor. <laughs> Other members up here are Karen Smith, President of the Foothill College Classified Senate, Josh Rosales, President of the Associated Students of Foothill College. Liliana Guillen, who is our speaker and will be introduced later by Student Trustee Park. Carolyn Holcroft, President of the Foothill College Academic Senate and member of the Foothill College Biology Faculty. And Carolyn will introduce our faculty speaker, John Fox. <laughs> Graduates, before we proceed in celebrating your achievements, we must recognize those attending today who have supported your journey and now celebrate your success. Please stand and turn towards your family, wherever they might be. And how about a hearty round of applause for your friends and family? Thank you. Please be seated. In 1960, Foothill's first graduating class included 37 students. Tonight, I'm delighted to tell you that the class of 2015 totals 859 students. We are so excited to welcome you to our newest alumni group. Some of you will be leaving us to continue your education, and some of you will begin new rewarding careers. 
We are incredibly proud that Foothill transfer students continue to have strong representation at nearly every California State University and University of California campus, as well as numerous prestigious private universities throughout the country. We are equally proud of our graduates who are entering the workforce after completing Foothill's rigorous programs in career and technical education. Those of you who are pursuing healthcare careers have greatly exceeded the average scores on state and national examinations. I have to share with you that graduates have scored remarkable pass rates on their national and state licensure examinations in the following programs. Primary care physician's assistant, a 90% pass rate. Veterinary technology, 95% pass rate. Diagnostic medical sonography, a 96% pass rate. Paramedics, 97%. And now, here are all the programs that have had a 100% pass rate. Dental hygiene. And dental hygiene celebrated their 50th anniversary year with every year being 100%. Also at 100%, pharmacy technician, radiologic technology, and respiratory therapy. Congratulations to our students and our faculty for these amazing achievements. At this time, I would like to present Foothill student trustee, Alexander Park, who will introduce tonight's student speaker. Thank you, President Minor. Along with her parents and siblings, Liliana Guillen emigrated to the US to escape extreme poverty and violence in her native Mexico. As the young family struggled to financially survive, she became responsible for taking care of her siblings and the family home while her parents worked multiple custodial jobs to bring home modest wages. Liliana says, in my role as caretaker of my siblings, I had one of those light bulb moments. Education would be the factor that would help me give my family a better life. But despite excellent grades, graduating at the top of my Menlo Atherton High School class and being accepted to every university I applied to, my other, other role, that of being an undocumented resident, delivered the sobering reality that I was ineligible for any financial aid. My dream to attend university and help my family was dashed. Or was it? Liliana knew that she needed a college education to transform the, her life and the lives of her family. She found like-minded students, faculty and staff at Foothill College, who supported her educational goals. She continued to achieve excellent grades, earned a Foothill Associate Degree in Psychology with high honors in 2013, was awarded numerous scholarships, and was accepted at numerous universities. But in a heartbreaking moment of deja vu, she did not have enough financial support to transfer to university. Refusing to give up, Liliana changed her major and continued taking classes at Foothill. Tonight, she graduates with five associate degrees, <laughs> including accounting, business administration, psychology for transfer, sociology, and general studies in the social sciences. This fall, she will transfer to UCLA to pursue a bachelor's degree in business economics. In addition to academics, she has been an active member of the campus community for which she has been recognized nationally with the President's Volunteer Service Award. She has participated as an Associated Students of Foothill College officer, served as student voice on shared governance committees, played a leadership role in Foothill's popular community ambassador program, 
and participated in Mountain View's recent Peace March and Rally for Immigration Reform. Citing all these leadership activities, she received the Foothill College Emerging Leader Award, as well as a Certificate of Leadership and Service. Liliana tells us, I did not complete my Foothill education alone. Every member of the Foothill College community has played an integral role in my transformation, and I thank them. I also thank the voters, activists, and legislators who continue to advocate for the full passage of the DREAM Act. I stand on the shoulders of all those who work to help students transform their lives. She says, I did not give up my dream, and Foothill College did not give up on me. Would everyone please give a warm welcome to student speaker Liliana Guillen. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, administrators, friends, families, and class of 2015. My name is Liliana Guillen, and I'm honored to be here speaking to all of you today. Foothill College has given me a second chance in life, like it has for so many of those here today. 11 years ago, my parents immigrated from Mexico, escaping extreme poverty and violence in pursuit of having a chance at life. They wanted to give me and my siblings an opportunity to have essentials that they did not have in Mexico, such as food, a home, safety, and an education. With our hearts broken, we left Mexico to come here. Here, we've had more than the essentials to thrive and succeed. This, of course, has been with a lot of challenges for my family. I've seen the difficult and laborious life my parents lead us janitors, and it's been hard to grow up without them because their lives revolve around working. I have no way to describe the frustration I have felt for not being able to help my parents and give them a better way of life. My family is my motivation to keep going despite all the obstacles I have faced as an undocumented AB 540 student. Graduates, in this journey that is life, we all have our struggles. Do not fear your struggles. Embrace your struggles. Success is born out of struggle. Due to my family's difficulties, I realized the importance of education very early on in my life. My education will allow me to give my family a new life. As a senior in high school, I graduated at the top of my class and got accepted everywhere I applied. The only problem was that due to my status, I could not be eligible for financial aid or loans, which made it impossible for me to attend a university. This is where Foothill saved me. I was given the opportunity to take classes and continue my learning. I did not have to give up on my dream. On the contrary, Foothill pushed me to dream bigger, to want more out of my education and my life. This is essential. We must know that we deserve success. We must believe we are worth, worthy of it to make it, to reach our goals. And with this truth comes the responsibility of accepting failure, not as defeat, but as progress. This has probably been the hardest for me. Two years ago, I graduated from Foothill with my AA in psychology and high honors. I had done what I considered my best to take the next step in my academic career and transfer. I was looking forward at a new challenge at UC Berkeley, and after everything I had worked for, I was in the same situation I was in when I graduated high school. I cannot describe my disappointment, my frustration, and shock at the realization. I wanted to give up. I really felt like it was not in my destiny to continue on. After all the hardships, the diligence, the support, and all for nothing. But I persisted. At Foothill, I learned to be a leader and above all, to be myself. And what I wanted to do was to continue, and so I did. I enrolled back at Foothill knowing this was my struggle and I embraced it because I knew I deserved more. I was worthy of my dreams. I had made some progress, but I had to try harder and want more. After my failure, I challenged myself even more, completing five additional AA degrees, 
seeking greater knowledge and becoming a leader in the Foothill community. This has not just been an academic challenge, it has been a personal, explorative journey about finding my inner strength and letting it out. Class of 2015, I urge you to persevere, to continue despite the odds, that after you think you fail, or that maybe success isn't meant for you, that you follow your heart no matter what. As an undocumented student, I really did not know how I would do it for myself, but I knew I had to do my part. The passage of the DREAM Act has also played a big part in my new fate. I will be successfully transferring this year to UCLA as a business econ major. I did not do it alone. The faculty, staff, administrators, and students here at Foothill have played an integral part in this new journey in my life. To my family and boyfriend, I say thank you for the unconditional love and support. And to God, I owe everything. I leave Foothill a proud owl, wishing to continue with the same integrity and leadership Foothill instilled in me. I'm one step closer to helping my family and giving them a better life. Graduates, congratulations. May this be a new beginning of new experiences and success. Class of 2015, today we celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations to Liliana. Graduates, as your faculty, we're so proud of your accomplishments. We're honored that you came to Foothill looking for knowledge and found it here among our community of scholars. It's now my great pleasure to introduce this evening's faculty speaker, a Foothill College sociology instructor since 2010 Dr. John Fox hopes that all students become aware of the impact society has on their lives and how they too can affect individuals and society by promoting social understanding, empathy, justice, and equity. Dr. Fox says, as social beings, we need each other in order to live, grow, develop, and thrive. I choose to teach at Foothill College because I believe that an educated public can create a better society and community colleges like Foothill are institutions at which knowledge can be shared with a wider society rather than be confined to four-year universities. Sociology is for everybody. In addition to teaching introductory independent study and honors sociology courses, he serves as faculty advisor to the Gay Straight Alliance and Social Action for Gender Equality Student Organizations. He also teaches freshmen enrolled in the Foothill First Year Experience Program and is chairman of the Foothill College Academic Integrity Committee. A proud community college graduate himself, he holds an associate in arts degree from Cabrillo College in Aptos, California, as well as a bachelor's degree from the University of California, Santa Cruz, and doctorate from the University of Massachusetts, Amherst. He considers it an honor to teach at Foothill College and congratulates the newest Foothill College alumni. Please welcome faculty speaker, Dr. John Fox. Carolyn, thank you for that kind introduction. Um, I turned 52 this year, which surprises some people. For most of my life, people thought I was younger than I was. For example, back when I first started teaching, I had a birthday coming up, and I told the class I was turning 38. One student reacted, 38? We didn't think you were 38. We thought you were 25 and had a hard life. <laughs> it's the funniest thing a student ever said, and I still, to this day, don't know exactly what he meant, but <laughs> there you have it, okay? But as this story shows, I got into teaching later in life. So when I was pondering what I was going to talk about in the speech, I considered why the students in the AFSC elected me. And I think it's because that they like what I do. Coincidentally, I also like what I do. <laughs> in fact, I love teaching. So I'm not gonna tell you that if you work hard, you can become president of the United States or that which doesn't kill you will make you stronger, or wear sunscreen, which is some common themes in 
commencement speeches. Instead, I'm going to talk about why I love what I do, and maybe there will be a lesson for you in there somewhere. I love teaching because I believe in education. Specifically, I believe in what's typically called a liberal education, teaching a broad range of subjects as well as focusing on specific areas of interest like a major. I believe in teaching the quadratic formula, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, Marx's components of alienated labor, not because I expect you to remember it when you're 52, but because these formulas, these theories, these concepts, these models show a way of thinking about the world. We need daily practice in thinking logically, creatively, critically, deductively, inductively, analyzing, and synthesizing in order to solve life's problems. College is a place where we can practice this. Ultimately, I believe that this is what education is for, solving problems of all sorts. I agree with Paulo Freire's idea of a problem-posing education in which all of us, not just students, reflect on the problems at hand and apply what we learn in order to transform society. In order to do this, we have to have the free and open exchange of ideas, what is commonly called academic freedom. I believe that all ideas are fair game to be proposed and debated, supported or debunked. In academic institutions, it's the ideas that matter the most. I believe in developing relationships with students. This is why I hate texting in class. <laughs> Anybody on your phone, put it away. Um, <laughs> OK, I believe that we should not only have passion for what we teach, but for whom we teach. I believe we should not only care about student learning, but we should care about our students. And this is taboo to talk about, but I agree with Bell Hooks when we said we should love our students and be invested not only in what they learn in the classroom, but be invested in their lives. I believe in developing communities on the college campus in which students and faculty come together, work on projects, build relationships, work together to, guess what, solve problems. Now let me be clear about this next part because it's a little confusing. I believe you are not entitled to your degree you earned it. And for that, congratulations. <laughs> However, I believe that everyone in the world is entitled to access to the ideas. Everyone is entitled to learn, to ponder, reflect, debate, and act on the ideas presented in institutions like these. More and more, education has been thought of as a degree one gets rather than the knowledge acquired, as a means to finding a job rather than a process of growing and developing as a human being. There has been more focus on standardized tests rather than critical thinking, and education is becoming to be seen as a commodity in which students see themselves as consumers and education is not seen as the acquisition of knowledge, but a degree in which students think they're entitled. However, I agree with Hunter Rawlings, who wrote in a recent Washington op Post op-ed piece, quote, genuine education is not a commod commodity. It is the awakening of a human being. Let me go back to solving problems. As we look at the US and the world right now, we see a lot of problems that need to be addressed. Um, many people don't want to talk about it, but racial inequality after all these centuries is still embedded in US social institutions. All we have to do is stand on the overpass on Highway 101 at University Avenue and we can see it. Um, women are still paid less than men and are too often victims of intimate partner violence and sexual violence. Transgendered people, especially transgendered women of color, are especially vulnerable to violence, especially homicide. 
The gap between the rich and the poor keeps growing in the US and much of the world. And in the US, the political system is being bought by the rich. Now, as a sociologist, I can go on and on. But last thing I'll talk about is climate change. The levels of CO2 are over 400 parts per million, highest it's been in thousands of years. While the most powerful governments in the world are doing very little to address this problem. Meanwhile, California is experiencing its worst drought in what one research study says 1,200 years. This is what education is for, solving problems like this. And it's your generation, the graduates here, that get to solve these problems. And I absolutely believe that your generation will find solutions to these problems and other problems. Individually, you might not come up with it on your own, but because you are educated, you will recognize the good idea when you hear it, and you will reject the bad ones because you've learned to think about these things, and you won't be easily manipulated. Um, you are a powerful social and political force to be reckoned with, and you will change the world. In fact, you already did. Do you want an example? How about same-sex marriage? In 2004, 31% of the public supported same-sex marriage, which is the same year it became legal in one state. That's Massachusetts. 11 years later, the Supreme Court rules today that same-sex marriage is legal in all 50 states. You, your generation, did this. Okay, this is not to take away from the some of the boomers and some of the um, silent generation or some of Gen X that may have laid some groundwork. But last year, 68% of millennials supported same-sex marriage compared to 48% of the boomers. You came of age and you said, I don't see what the big deal is. And you influenced public policy and became a strong political force. You're just getting started. You're just getting started. Because of gen your generation, I have never had more hope for the future. It took me a long time, but I found something in my life that I believe in, and that is my hope for you. That you have found something, or will find something, that you believe in as much as I believe in education. It doesn't have to be your job. It could be family, a cause, or something else. But find something you believe in and make a difference in someone's life. As I said, I turned 52 this year. A professor I once was a teaching assistant for at the University of Massachusetts, Michael Lewis. He used to end his classes by saying, I gotta get this right. There will come a time, and you never really know when it is, that you realize that you have less future than you do past. And at that point, you want your life to have been yours. I'm at that point. I don't think I'm going to live to 104. But because I found something I believe in, and while I've made some difference in individual lives, collectively, as part of a teaching and learning community, I've been a part of a wider educational system that has made a difference in many people's lives. Therefore, I am living a life that is mine. That is my hope for you. Find something you believe in, make a difference in someone's life, and live a life that is yours. Thank you very much. John, thank you so much. It is now my honor to introduce Foothill Deantha Chancellor Linda Thor. A nationally recognized innovator in education, Dr. Thor joined Foothill De Anza in 2010. Previously, she served for nearly 20 years as president of Rio Salado College in Tempe, Arizona, a college known for serving working adults through online learning and worksite training. Prior to becoming Rio Salado's president in 1990, she was president of West Los Angeles College in Culver City, California, for four years. Active at the national level, 
She serves on the boards of the League for Innovation in the Community Colleges, the Commission on Education Attainment and Innovation for the American Council on Education, and the board of the Community College Baccalaureate Association. She also serves on the Western Interstate Commission for Higher Education by gubernatorial appointment. In California, she serves on the NOVA Workforce Board, as well as the boards of Joint Venture Silicon Valley and the Bay Area Council Economic Institute, among others. She holds a bachelor's degree in journalism from Pepperdine University, a master's of public administration degree from California State University, Los Angeles, and a doctor of education degree in community college administration from Pepperdine University. Next Tuesday, Dr. Thor will retire from Foothill De Anza and return to her Arizona home. She intends to remain active in higher education, continuing to serve on boards and undertaking special projects. One other item I would like to add, that were it not for Dr. Thor selecting Foothill College to participate in the baccalaureate program for dental hygiene, we would not be looking forward to welcoming baccalaureate students in the fall of 2016 here at Foothill College. We are deeply in her debt for her advocacy for the program statewide and specifically for Foothill's program. Please welcome Chancellor Thor. Thank you. President Minor, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty and staff, family and friends, and in particular, members of the class of 2015. It is my great honor to share some thoughts with you on this very special occasion. This commencement ceremony culminates six weeks of celebrating student success and achievement. At the various end of the year events, I was able to witness firsthand how proud our faculty and staff are of you and how much you value your time and experience here at Foothill College. Graduates, if you were keeping track, I have worked in community colleges for 41 years. And for 29 of those years, I have been a community college president or chancellor. I have had the privilege of serving over 1 million students. In four decades, I have experienced and witnessed phenomenal change. For example, when I began working in community colleges, to enroll for classes, you had to queue up in endlessly long lines for manual processing of your registration. But that pain was balanced by the fact that back then, California community colleges were free. More personally, when I started my career in the 1970s, it was at the height of the women's movement we women were trying to gain equal access to the same titles and promotions and income that men were accustomed to. And it was not easy to break through the glass ceiling. I started my career with the Los Angeles Community College District as a public information officer. One year later, I was promoted to director of communications. That appointment at age 25 made me the youngest director in the college district and the only woman director, which was a distinction that I unfortunately held for many years to come. I have said that if I ever write a book about my life, about my career, I'm going to call it Good Morning Gentlemen and Linda, because that's the way they always started the staff meetings. Later, when I assumed my first college presidency at West Los Angeles College, there were only 12 women out of the then 107 presidents in California community colleges. At the time, I was also, at age 36, the youngest California college president, male or female. And I have the unique claim to fame uh, that to date, as far as I know, I am the only woman in the nation to give birth while serving as a college president. 
<laughs> and then when I moved to Phoenix in 1990 for a 20-year tenure as president of Rio Salado College, I doubled the number of women presidents in that state because they had only one. <laughs> and I was so pleased when I returned to California in 2010 to become chancellor of the Foothill De Anza Community College District to note the progress that women have made. Not one single media account of my appointment referred to my gender, only to my qualifications. And happily today in California, 42% of the community colleges are led by women, including here at Foothill College. So with that introduction to my career, I want to just briefly share some lessons in leadership that I have learned on my journey. And first let me clarify that I don't believe that you have to have a fancy title, an impressive title to lead. I would assert that leadership is not a job, it's not a title, it's a mindset. I would assert that, that uh, you each and every day have opportunities to develop and demonstrate leadership because the best leaders are those who gladly serve others. One of my favorite books in leadership is The Leadership Challenge by Kuzis and Posner. For two decades, the authors have surveyed over 75,000 people, asking them, what values do you look for and admire in your leader? Over the years, the responses have not changed. People want leaders who are honest, forward-thinking, competent, and inspiring. And as I reflect on my career, I find that these values are indeed instrumental in my upward mobility and success, and I believe that they can help you too. Let me offer some examples. First, to be honest. I have always believed and have stated often that you should live your life as if your actions will become headlines in the daily newspaper. If exposure to something that you do or say will embarrass you or your family or your employer, it's simple, don't do it. The second characteristic is be forward thinking. I have been proud to be on the forefront of some major initiatives that challenged the limits of tradition including online learning, the community college baccalaureate degree, dual enrollment for high school students, and many more. These were labors of love for me because the students were the ones to benefit. The third leadership value is be competent. One way to accomplish this is to earn the necessary credentials. And so congratulations to you on doing just that. As one who earned my master's degree and doctorate while I was working full time with small children at home, I know that it's not easy, but it's really worth it. A favorite quote of mine is that success comes when preparation meets opportunity. And that leads me to the fourth and final of the characteristics most valued in leaders, which is inspiring. To be inspiring doesn't mean that you have to be a great orator or a gifted writer or a successful entrepreneur. Interestingly enough, I am told over the years that one of the things about me personally that has inspired others is that I have not chosen to sacrifice my family for my career. I have managed to do both with some success. And it is my family that largely influenced my decision to retire next Tuesday. And as I am sunsetting my career, you are building your career and your life. Construct it on the same strong foundations provided by your new degree and by incorporating these enduring values. Keep your integrity, have a dream, keep learning, and don't lose sight of what's really important to you. Graduates, I offer you my heartiest congratulations on all that you have accomplished to date and my warmest best wishes for your continued success. Good luck.
Thank you. We had such an outstanding selection of speakers today. Please join me in one more round for Liliana, Dr. Fox, and Dr. Thor. As president of Foothill, there is no greater honor for me than to address you on commencement day when we recognize your hard work and everything you have accomplished during your time with us here. We celebrate your success and extend heartfelt congratulations. If you will, think back to your first day at Foothill College. Perhaps you were nervous about your new college adventure. Will I succeed? Will I fit in? Will I like it? Will I find my classes? No matter where you were that day or what you were thinking, what matters is that you are here with us today. And being here tells me something about you. It tells me that you did succeed, you did fit in with other students, and you have found your niche. It has been my privilege to work closely with a number of graduates who exemplify the core values of Foothill College, and I would like to take just a few moments to honor their contributions on your behalf. Beirus Amirbadvi served as an outstanding student representative on Foothill's primary shared governance group, the Planning and Resource Council. Josh Rosales, president of the Associated Students of Foothill College, worked tirelessly to increase meaningful engagement by his fellow students and to highlight their accomplishments throughout the year. Evelyn Chun, was one of the most gifted student trustees with whom it has been my pleasure to work. And of course, Liliana Guillen, our student speaker, has already proven herself to be a phenomenal leader and inspirational role model. Just imagine what the future holds. To all of you and the students you represent, congratulations on jobs well done. It is my hope that your time here at Foothill College has given you a better understanding of yourself, what talents you have to give, and how you can use those talents to build a life that will make our world a better place, as John Fox asked of you. Today is about your future and the future we will all enjoy based on how you choose to live your life. I hope you will dedicate yourself to making the most of every moment you have using the gift of education you have received. It is truly my pleasure to welcome the class of 2015 into the lifelong community of Foothill College. You are exceptional men and women, and I am proud to call you our graduates. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Foothill College President's Medal. The highest scholastic honor bestowed annually by this college is recognition at this occasion of the students who have most clearly demonstrated academic achievement in all college work applicable to a degree program at Foothill College. Tonight, I am pleased to announce that there are four recipients of the President's Medal. And please hold your applause until all of the medalists are announced. And as I call your name, would you please stand? This year's President's Medalists are General Studies, Social Science, and Political Science major, Evelyn Chun. Sociology, Psychology, and General Studies, Social Science major, Hardian Tamrin. Communication Studies major, Quan Chi Tong. And Economics and Political Science major, Deanna Woodman. Congratulations. Each medalist will receive a scholarship and replica of the President's Medal. And if you refer to tonight's program, you will see the names of additional scholarship recipients and the visionary donors who have made these scholarships possible. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Carolyn Holcroft, President of the Academic Senate, to officially certify the class of 2015. Graduates, please stand.
On behalf of the faculty of the college, I certify that the candidates before you and those in the official commencement program have, to this date, satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Foothill College Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Arts degree for transfer, Associate in Science degree, or Associate in Science degree for transfer. For Foothill College, and by the authority vested in me by the State of California, through the Community College Board of Governors, and on behalf of the Foothill De Anza Community College District Board of Trustees, I hereby confer the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Associate in Science, or Associate in Science for Transfer on the graduates. Board President Chang, members of the board, Families and guests, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the Foothill Class of 2015. Thank you, graduates. For those of you waiting to be called forward, please be seated and remain seated until you are welcome to the stage. And we will now begin the awarding of the diplomas. Good evening, my name is Kurt Hewig. I'm the Dean of the Business and Social Sciences Division. It's my pleasure to represent our faculty in awarding these degrees to our graduates this evening. <laughs> Liliana Guillen, Associate in Arts degree in Psychology, AA in Transfer, AA in Accounting, Business Administration, General Studies, Social Sciences, Psychology, and Sociology. <laughs> Dean's List, Honor Scholar, and ASFC Lifetime Member. Josh Rosales, Associate in Arts degree in Business Administration, Accounting, General Studies, Social Science, Psychology, Sociology, and Associate in Arts in Transfer and Sociology, Dean's List, Honor Scholar, ASFC Lifetime Member. Lorene Daniel Williams, Associate in Arts Degree in Accounting and Business Administration. Alyssa Scholes, Child Development AA Degree. Ginger Monson, Associate in Arts Degree, Special Education, Dean's List. Alicia Yvonne Soriano Figueroa, Figueroa, AA Psychology, AAT. Jacqueline Little, Associate in Arts Degree, Sociology, Associate in Arts and Transfer. Ariel Roy, Associate in Arts and Child Development, Adaptive Business Technology. Yvonne Yesenia Guerrero, AA in Psychology and Sociology. Annie Leyi Tang, Associate in Arts and Psychology. Amanda Rutendo Mabiyangawa, AA in Business Administration, General Studies, Social Science, Dean's List. Naj Jamal Richardson, Associate in Arts Degree, Social Sciences. Meryl Lane Knoll, Associate in Arts Degree, Accounting, Dean's List. Shuang Liu, Associate in Arts Degree, Child Development, Dean's List. Desiree Diaz, Associate in Arts Degree, Transfer, Business Administration. 
Antoinette Zamudio, a, a transfer sociology scholar athlete. Bertha Prado Madrigal, AA Sociology, General Studies, Social Science. Claudia Fernandez, AA in Social Sciences, Scholar Athlete. Arena Noskoshvenova, AA in Business Administration, Dean's List. Brandon Beadle, Associate in Arts and Sociology, Dean's List. Laura Martinez, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Psychology, going to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Delilah Sandoval, AA in Psychology. Xiaoling Liu, AA in Transfer, Economics, Dean's List. Jesenia Ramirez, or Gisela Ramirez, Associate in Transfer, Psychology. Amanda Monroe, AA, Accounting, Dean's List. Kim Luen Julie Van. Associate in Science, Associate in Transfer Social Studies. Margarita Paula De La, De La Lokier, sorry. <laughs> AA in Business Administration. Diana Olivares Benavides, Associate in Transfer Business Administration. Andrea Freeman, Associate in Arts Sociology. Arthur Robert Anderson, AA in Psychology. Fernando Usain Solis Vergara, AA in Business Administration, Associate in Arts Transfer, ASFC Lifetime Member. Rapella Rescolin, AA in Business Administration, Dean's List. Spencer Hill, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Psychology. Pradika Prasad, AA in Transfer, Psychology. Psychology. Selma Basogli, AA in Accounting, Honor Scholar. Jerry Aguinaldo, AA in Psychology, Dean's List. Genevieve Ramirez, AA in Transfer, Sociology, Scholar Athlete. Eric Emanuelson, AA in General Studies, Social Sciences, Dean's List, Scholar Athlete. Cyrus G. Harris, Associate in Arts in History. Isra Beg, AA, Business Administration, Dean's List. Noura Fahimi, AA, in Transfer Economics, Dean's List. Ravendra Singh, Associate in Arts Accounting. Deanna Woodman, Associate in Arts and Political Science. Associate in Arts for Transfer, Political Science, and Economics. Dean's List, Honor Scholar, ASFC Lifetime Member. Genevieve Christine Duran, Associate in Arts and Economics, Dean's List and Honor Scholar. Audrey Justin Robinson, AA in Sociology, Dean's List. Erica Dalton, Associate in Arts for Transfer Psychology. Kramer Peterson, Associate in Arts, Business Administration. Ken Yuan, AA Business. Juan Cuevas, AA in Child Development. Veronica
Veronica Torres, AA in Child Development. Nina Ben, AA in Early Childhood Education, Child Development. Leilani Roth, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Laurel Elizabeth Jensen Harris, Associate in Arts and Psychology, AA in Transfer, Psychology. Elizabeth Marie Silva, AA, Social Science General Studies. Kayla Janine Moore, Associate in Arts and Anthropology, Dean's List. Chris Tantavelasen, AA in Business Administration, AAT, Business Administration. Lauren Wong Cicelo, AA in Business Administration, Dean's List. Andres Lopez Moore, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Economics and Business Administration, Dean's List. Nikolai Petrovic, Asso Petro Petrov, Associate in Arts, AA in Transfer and Sociology, Scholar Athlete. Jana Rudrov Nurebarova, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Sociology. Gabriela Lorena Lorenzo, AA in Transfer, Political Science. Alexandra Kuanan, Associate in Arts, General Studies, Social Science. Carla Medieros, Associate in Arts, History, Dean's List. Anna Sophia Saran, Associate in Arts, Anthropology, Dean's List. Maribel Ramirez, Associate in Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. Julie Seche Rosberg. Associate in Arts, Child Development, Dean's List. Miriam Viashula, Associate in Arts, Psychology, Dean's List. Katie White, Associate in Arts, Social Science. Jenna Konjarev. Associate in Arts and Transfer Psychology, Dean's List. Amina Asan, Associate in Arts, General Science, Social Science. Remy Laws, Associate in Arts, Business Administration. Stephanie Jimenez, Associate in Arts and Transfer Sociology. Elena Diaz Jacobo, Associate in Arts and Transfer, AA Sociology, General Studies, Social Sciences, and Communications, Dean's List. Elizabeth Romero, Associate in Arts, Business Administration. Riley Bentley, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Early Childhood Development, Dean's List. Andrea Rial, Associate in Arts and Child Development. Melissa Valdivias, Associate in Arts and Child Development. Efren Sean Parado, Jr., Associate in Arts and Social Science General Studies. Alejandro Aguilar, Associate in Arts, Social Science General Studies, Scholar Athlete. Jordan Etem, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Business Administration, Dean's List. David Alayo, Associate in Arts and Transfer, General Studies, Social Science. Luis Hernandez, Associate in Arts, Social Science, I mean, Sociology. 
Darian Hanbury, Associate Art and Transfer, Social Sciences General Studies, Scholar Athlete. Savannah Straub, Associate Art and Transfer, Psychology and General Studies Social Sciences. Annabella Choi, Associate Arts in General Studies Social Science and Psychology. Dean's List Honor Scholar, AFSFC Lifetime Member. Young Hoon Ng, Associate Arts in Transfer, Economics. Taylor Nilassi, Associate Arts in Transfer, Psychology. Danielle Spurgeon, Associate Arts in Transfer, Criminal Justice and Psychology. Alex Gray, AA in Transfer Psychology. Megumi Kuramoto, Associate Arts in Transfer, Business Administration. Mililani Kosare, AA in General Studies Social Science, Scholar Athlete. Megan Racine, Associate Arts AA in General Studies Social Science, Scholar Athlete. Adriana Scolico, Associate Arts in Transfer, Psychology and General Studies Social Science. Jessica Alarcon, Associate Arts in Transfer, General Studies Social Science, and AA in Transfer in Spanish, Honor Scholar. Hardien Thamrin, AA in Psychology, Sociology, and General Studies Social Science, Dean's List. Cindy Francisca, AA in Psychology, Dean's List, AFSFC Lifetime Member. Andrea Stefani Sapulia, AA in Psychology, Dean's List. Alex Olay, Associate Arts, Business Administration, Dean's List. Evelyn Roca, AA in Transfer Psychology, Dean's List. Nicole Rankin, Associate Arts in Transfer, Sociology and Psychology, Dean's List. Christiana Maya, Associate Arts in Transfer, Business Administration. Spencer Obregozo, AA in Psychology and Sociology, Dean's List. Frangelica Garcia, Associate Arts in Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Paige Valencia, AA in Transfer, Psychology. Daniel Nguyen, Associate in Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. Jenny Pineda, Associate Arts in Transfer, Sociology, Dean's List. Carolyn Straudernaus, AA in Sociology, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. Alexandra Green, Associate in Arts, Associate Arts and Transfers, Social Science, General Studies, and Psychology, Dean's List. Maria Guzman, Associate in Arts, Child Development. Mariko Naito, Associate in Arts, Sociology, Pre-Law, Dean's List. Kaneko Ito, Associate in Arts, Child Development, Dean's List. Samantha Lee Pine, Associate Arts and Transfer, Psychology. Manisha Joshi, Joshi, Associate in Arts, Business Administration, Accounting, Dean's List. Michael Elias, Associate in Arts, Economics. 
Christina Puente, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Dean's List, Sociology. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Ken Horowitz. I'm gonna represent the uh, Biological and Health Science Division. And I'm gonna do so by uh, introducing the individual directors of our fabulous programs. So let me introduce first our awesome director of uh, uh, biology and, and health sciences, uh, basic sciences, Jillian Schultz. Carl Muonio, Associate in Science, Biological Sciences. Jose de la Cruz III, Associates in Science, General Study Science. Alexis Vargas, General Associate in Science, General Studies Science. Precious Jasmine Salas, Associate in Science for Transfer General Studies Science. Catherine Ho, Associate in Science for Transfer, General Studies Science, transferring to USF Nursing. Wayne Tesfe, Associate in Science for Transfer, General Studies Science. Jonathan Harley Zook, Associate in Science, General Studies Science, Associates in Arts in Social Science. Alyssa Lugmao, Associate in Science, General Studies in Science, transferring to CSU East Bay. Kenneth John Ligallo, Associate in Science, General Studies Science, Dean's List Honor Scholar. Jimmy Sotomayor Otero, Associate in Science, General Science, General Studies Science. Carmelin Fatima Maglunglung Pegyo, Associate in Science, General Studies Science. Okay, now where do I go? This way. Our next program is our dental assisting program, and to introduce those graduates is our awesome professors, Janet Schlechter, and our director, Kara Miyasaki. Associate in Science in Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Claudia De La Cruz, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Brina Nicole Parks, Associate in Science in Dental Assisting, Natalie Minera, Associate in Science in Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Bethlehem Hailu, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Alexandra Escobar, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting, My new Quinn, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Susie Mardini, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting. Criselda Veronio, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Our next program, the Dental Hygiene Program, the graduates will be introduced by our awesome director, Phyllis Sprague. And uh, you'll be seeing some of them wear a blue sash. And these were our students who went to Honduras over the summer and volunteered with the Global Medical Brigades. Say some things. So 
Sandra Gonzalez, Associate in Science Degree, Dental Hygiene, and uh, Global Brigades participant. Roselle Pasada, Associate Degree in Science and Dental Hygiene, and the Golden Scaler Award. Julie Medeiros, Associate in Science and Dental Hygiene. Pamela Piccione, <laughs> AS Degree in Dental Hygiene. Amy Shellhammer, High Honors, Global Grades, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene. Heather Middleton, Associate in Science in Dental Hygiene. Dean's List, High Honors. Taylor Slot, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene, Medical Brigades to Honduras. Melina Ofsell, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene. Nazgal Hosveda, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene. Amy Brown, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene. Medical Brigades Honduras. Eleanor Eastwood, AS degree in dental hygiene, Medical Brigades. Rachel Galley, AS degree in dental hygiene, Dean's List, and Medical Brigades Honduras. Ashley Mort Corton, AS degree in dental hygiene, Dean's List. Sarah Coulter, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. Malvina Predilak, AS Degree in Dental Hygiene. No. Our next program, the Environmental Horticulture Program, graduates will be introduced by our awesome dude, Dave Sauter. Thank you, Ken. I'm proud to present this year's crop of environmental horticulture and design graduates. Come right on up. Okay, Ninad Priyadashar Ketkar. Karen Kurtz, Dean's List, and our nursery and greenhouse manager for the last two years. Don't go. Judy Fulton, Dean's List, headed right home to garden. Eleanor Laney, Dean's List, the Bay Area Queen of Compost. <laughs> Catherine Fraley, she'll sell your rocks. Our next program, the Pharmacy Technician Program, the graduates will be introduced by our awesome director, Angela Sue. Cecilia Flores, AS degree in Science, Pharmacy Technology. Janelle Bunkeren, AS degree in Pharmacy Technology. Mimi Nguyen, AS degree in Science, Pharmacy, Technology. Matthew Pacobus, AS degree in Science, Pharmacy, Technology. Laura Patton, AS degree in Pharmacy, Technology. Alfred Lim, AS degree in Pharmacy, Technology. Chi Lack, AS degree in Pharmacy Technology, Dean's List. Lee Nguyen, AS degree in Pharmacy Technology, Dean's List. Thank you. Our next program, our Radiologic Technician Program, Technology Program, our awesome director, Rochelle Campbell.
Eric Bursch, AS degree in radiologic technology, Dean's List. Tim Chetlett, AS degree, radiologic technology. Michael Iguchi, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Cecil Cruz, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Deandra Bonner, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Cherise Robinson, AS degree, radiologic technology. Marie Louise Jacob, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Johanna Carpio Garcia, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Joe Castro, AS degree, radiologic technology. Michael Alla, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List, Honor Scholar. Vicki Wu, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Gemma Perez, AS degree, radiologic technology. Desiree Larice Marino, AS degree, radiologic technology. Ashley Delfina Zanato Gage, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Jonathan White, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Carrie Marie Sullivan, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Nino De Leon, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Daniel Inoue, AS degree, radiologic technology, Dean's List. Our next program, our respiratory therapy program, will be introduced by our awesome director, Brenda Hanning. Aruna Nathamuni, AS degree in respiratory therapy. Adrian Paballo, AS degree, respiratory therapy. Nicole Arnold, AS degree, respiratory therapy, scholar athlete, and medical brigades to Honduras. Nelson Ma, AS degree, respiratory therapy. Don Polich, AS degree, respiratory therapy. <laughs> Stacy Marie Shelton, AS degree, respiratory therapy, Dean's List. Tina Lee, AS degree, respiratory therapy. Millet Altanesis, AS degree, respiratory therapy. Barbara Tovar, AS degree, respiratory therapy. Farnak Hamedi, AS degree, respiratory therapy. And last, our veterinary technology program. There, there are 38 graduates who will be introduced by their awesome director, Lisa Eschman. Hey. 
Maya Serafin, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Yuin Chu Dao, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Savannah Dalkey, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Jennifer Elliott Jones, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Yvonne Shannon LaGuardia, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Roxanne Lawson, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Adrena, the cat's meow, Urego. AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Cindy Case, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Christina Young, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Karina Karamian Kara, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Genevek Aquino, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Jessica Cruz Obregon, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Iris Morales, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Ariel Munoz, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Megan McAndrew, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Crystal Marie Manuel, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Kathleen Dussevin, AS degree, Biological Sciences. Ellen Cunningham, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Jessica Landrum, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Vanessa Lynn Cafaro, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Chen Chen Tsai, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Matt Hogan, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Molly Hayden, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Gloria Ortiz, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Lindsay Sauer, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List, and Honors Scholar. Rebecca Witten, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Rachel Moore, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Marcy Ann Hanish, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Martha Amanda Materni, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Mithli Hari, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Kimberly Marquis, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Vanessa Bowie, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Shirley Wong, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Denise Chu, 
AS degree, Veterinary Technology. Julia Giddyup Cheney, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Courtney Joanna May Kerr, AS degree, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Stephanie Duart, AS degree, Veterinary Technology. What an awesome division. Over 200 graduates from our division alone. One other thing I wanted to announce, um, since they did this at the San Francisco Opera, I could do it here. Um, the United States won their World Cup match, the women, one to nothing. Good evening, my name is Mark Anderson. I'm very proud to represent the graduates of both the Kinesiology and Athletics Division and Fine Arts and Communication. Courtney Lorraine Cooper, Associate in Arts, Communications, Rhetoric, and Intercultural Communication. Anna Plum, Associate in Arts, Intercultural Communication, Dean's List. Dina Arak Chidieva, Associate in Arts, Art Studio Emphasis, Dean's List. Austin Cook, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Kinesiology, Dean's List. Good luck to me. Louisa Aryatunian, Associate in Science, Athletic Injury Care, Scholar Athlete for Athletic Training. Nellie Corral, Associate in Science, Athletic Injury Care. Athena Herrera, Associate in Science, Athletic Injury Care. Arthur Seeson, Jr., Associate in Arts for Transfer, Kinesiology. Domingo Barroro III, Associate in Arts, Physical Education. Carla Aguilar, Associate in Arts, Communications. Charnay Young, Associate in Arts, Theater Arts, and Theater Technology. Maxwell Jackson Sorg, Theater Arts, Dean's List. Juan Arturo Martinez, Associate in Arts, Music Technology. Errol Geronimo, Associate in Arts, Music Technology. Christine Sackman, Associate in Arts, Graphic Design, Dean's List. Gary Ford, Associate in Arts, Graphic and Interactive Design, Dean's List. Coe Dos Santos Dupree, Associate in Arts, Graphic and International Interactive Design, Dean's List, Scholar Athlete. Colleen Schlosser, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communications. She has a scholarship to Palo Alto University. She's on the Dean's List and she's an honor scholar. Sandra Tukey, Associate in Arts, Communications. Juliette Modet, Associate in Arts, Communication Studies. How you doing? Good. Congratulations. Erica Zabala, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communications. Valeria Satskin, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies. She's a scholar athlete. Cassandra Grilly. Associate in Arts for Transfer, Theater, Dean's List. Thank you. Congratulations. 
Jessica Elizabeth Lynn, Associate in Arts, Theater Arts, Fine Arts Division Award in 2010, Dean's List. Miyoko Agasena, Associate in Arts, Graphic Design, Dean's List. Yoshiko Endo, Associate in Arts, Graphic Design. Margaret Morgan, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communications, Dean's List. Victoria Cornut, Associate in Arts in Art. Betty Shu, Associate in Arts, Photography, Dean's List. Masha Kitiga Rodsky, Associate in Arts, Photography, Dean's List. Melissa Cowdell, Associate in Arts, Photography, Dean's List. Catherine Ogg, Associate in Arts, Photography, Dean's List. Congratulations. Lauren Allen, Associate in Arts, Communications. Pate Summers, Associate in Arts, Art and Art with a Studio Emphasis, Dean's List. Bill Gates, Associate in Arts, Communication. Sean Larnimi, Associate in Arts, Communication Studies, Dean's List, ASFC Lifetime Member. Jinhui James, Associate in Arts, Economics. Ayana Shino, Associate in Arts, Graphic and Interactive Design. Ashley Akins, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communication. She's going to the Ohlone Nursing Program. Elizabeth Elio, Associate in Arts for Transfer. In Communication, she's going to Cal State University, East Bay. Josh Ely, Associate in Arts, Communication, Associate in Arts for Transfer. Thank you. Jack Williams, Associate in Arts, Communications. Shanae Sims, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communication. Damon Chavez, Associate in Arts, Communication. Well, Good evening, my name is Paul Starr and I'm pleased to present the graduates in a language arts discipline. Karen Poza, Associate in Arts, Spanish, Dean's List. Heidi Chen, Associate in Arts, Japanese Dean's List. Kaia Wang, Associate in Arts, Japanese Studies, Dean's List. Leo Funaki, Japanese, Associate in Arts, Dean's List. Victor Mature Davis, Associate in Arts, Humanities, Dean's List Honor Scholar. Christy Viola, Associate in Arts, Enterprise Networking, Security, Computer Science. Demetrius Love, Jr., Associate in Arts, English. Yeah. 
Diana Serrano Vides, Associate in Arts, English and General Studies, Social Science. I'm Victor Tam, Division Dean, and I'm honored to represent the faculty and staff of the Physical Sciences, Mathematics, and Engineering Division. And they are very proud of the graduates of the class of 2015. Rosa Baez, Associate in Science, General Science. Patricia Pineda, Associate in Science, Computer Science. Yohi Naya Nukulayak, Associate in Science, Computer Science, Dean's List. Helena D. Sukiyama Nukilao, Associate in Science, Mathematics. Amanda Riley, Associate in Science, General Science, Dean's List. Kai Johnson, Associate in Science, Mathematics, Dean's List. New T. Yi In Ho, Associate in Science, Computer Science, Associate in Science for Transfer, Computer Science. Nicole Jess Chandra, Associate in Science, Engineering, Dean's List. <clears throat> Trung Tri Nim, Triple Major, Associate in Science, Engineering, Associate in Science, Physics, and Associate in Science, Mathematics, Dean's List. Glenn Lee, double major, associate in science, chemistry, and associate in science, engineering, dean's list. Thanks. Vini Chin, or Chis, sorry. Vini Chisten Poloski, associate in science, triple major, computer science, engineering, and mathematics. Peter Kromoff, Associate in Science for Transfer, Computer Science. Andre Nani Mendez, Associate in Science, Engineering. Valentin Urena, Associate in Science, Physics, Associate in Science in Engineering. Christopher Joseph, Associate in Science, General Science. Kirsty Ermana, Associate in Science, Mathematics, Dean's List. We've, uh, we've adopted students from other divisions. Carla Salgado, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Psychology. Associate for Arts, uh, Associate Arts for Transfer, Anthropology, General Studies, Social Sciences. <laughs> Michelle Ng, Associate, sorry, Associate in Arts, Communication Studies. Cesar Delgadio. Associate in Arts for Transfer, Sociology, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Communications, Associate in Arts for Transfer, General Studies, Social Sciences. Up there. Mariana Delao, 
Associate in Arts for Transfer, Psychology, and Certificate of Proficiency in Communications. Jessica Celeste Spencer, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Studio Arts, and transferring to San Jose State University in the fall. We're almost there. We do ask the audience to remain seated until the graduates, faculty, and platform party have moved to the reception area. And at that time, please join us for the complimentary reception and meet your graduate at the Campus Center Plaza, which is in that direction. And now get your cameras ready, because there is a time-honored tradition that we will now perform. Graduates. Please stand. You may now complete the tradition of moving your tassel from right to left. To honor our graduates, the Foothill faculty and staff will now form the Corridor of Honor. This ceremonial formation applauds the accomplishments of our graduates, and so we ask that you remain seated and meet your graduate at the reception. We do want to thank tonight's sign language interpreters from Deaf Services of Palo Alto, as well as Altos Brass, for this evening's live music, including the recessional, which begins now. Thank you. 